if you survive this video yes. all the way <laughs> you, that, to that get book the free yours. book, yeah, you, yeah, you can have the book. You can have the book. Thank you for inviting me for this fireside chat. What are you What are you doing with your life other than <laughs> other than? <laughs> so I just I just put out a book that we've got there. I'm going to be giving away a copy of that. Too. Hey. We, we've got to think up a question. If that's okay, if yeah. that's legal, like I don't want to get you in a, like a Senate estimate committee where it's like you gave away a copy of John Safran's puff piece <laughs> and without a, a, a registering it's, it in the register gonna, or whatever. No, nah, it is going to. It's really going. It could be career limiting, but. We'll do it anyway. So that book's about yeah. Philip Morris. That came out just a few months ago about yeah. Philip Morris, the Melbourne cigarette people, yeah. and about how they're elbowing their way into the world of vaping, yeah. but not with a vape, which is kind of thing, and how they, they're being very tricky about it. And uh, so the book's all about that. Other than writing this book, you've been chasing... In the, you've been on the streets of Melbourne. Yes. And you've been chasing the conspiracy theorists, the people who brought the gallows... To the steps of Parliament. Yes. You've been hanging out with them. The thing I learned was that um, everyone like brought their own backstory to the rally, mm. like what what they what their life has been, what their pressures have been, what their family background is. You have such a wide array of people there, mm. and um, so totally, I found like self-identifying neo-Nazis. So totally, there's there was like a cluster. There was that aspect there. They're, they're, they're totally a cluster of that thing, and kind of provably, like usually, when, when I was even when I was like covering the far right rallies for my last book, they sort of would dodge around a bit around it a bit, like what, what, we're not the what <laughs> or whatever. But now we're not extremists. Yeah, we're not extremists. Yeah. But before, like if people attack me or whatever, I'm I'm not pretending that like out of the however the tens of thousands of people there that. People that like, oh, most of them were motivated by neo Nazis. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying there was a cluster there, which I can prove because I got them. And then I can even prove it on a second point because on a neo Nazi telegram, like one of those encrypted services, they were like taking photos of me and uploading it. So oh, they're yeah. like, you can see the like the behind the scenes of like, um, like me trying to sort of interview them, but they're sort of like trying to take photos of me and stuff like that. Because you're like, you're like the ultimate fantasy for them like you're a jew in the media you know like you're you're the like you're the stuff their dreams are made of controls the media. yeah 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 you're it's in like, charge you're yeah right. i'm in charge so you went to these rallies yes. right you saw these people there's a disparate group of people yes there's definitely this extreme element of it yes but but like i guess the thing that i've always i've kind of found a bit perplexing about these things yes. is like what's really motivating these people driving these okay well i think there's like currents and counter currents and layers and there's all this confusion so some of the things for instance are just sincere anxiety yeah and so like people freaked out because like they don't have work or they're and or they're just freaked out about uh uh like f feeling they've lost control of things. I think I agree with you. I think it's a really normal human thing. It's a search for meeting, a search for place, a search for belonging, you know, and it's and it's a bit misguided, but it's kind of understandable. Yeah. How do you connect with these people and say, listen, like we're not doing this to control you. We're not doing this because your 5G will get better or Bill yeah. Gates is there to control your mind. We're doing this because we don't want you to die by this shit disease. How do you tell people who are, who are into the... Coming from a more hippie perspective of... Mm. Uh, that they're sceptical of pharmaceutical companies and they, they want to be healthy and they want their bodies to be healthy and they're coming from that point and they're environmentalists. They're, like, how do you... How do you explain to them... That, like, that's the answer. Yeah. Oh, that's part of the answer. But I don't know yeah. what the answer is because I don't know enough about science. And I don't know about enough about logic fallacies, but there is like the one logic fallacy is they expect the other sides to be a hundred percent right about everything all the time, and then, um, but they don't have to be. Mm. So, for instance, they'll catch out. They'll go, "Well, Fauci said don't wear a mask." Then he said, "Do wear a mask," and it's like that's their big gotcha. Do we give like a final message, like? Hey, neo-Nazi and your friend hippie. Yeah. You know, go and get the bloody vaccine. Stop, stop. You guys are doing this weird yeah. thing together. What's your life? Like, if you were, if well, you were looking down the barrel, in the barrel. If you were looking down the barrel and like, you know, well, this from can, John okay, so to this, the neos and the hippies. Well, there's even a photo of me doing this because the neo-Nazis were taking photos of me whilst I was trying to interview them and they put it up. Anyway, there's... 
the Nazi I'm kind of f- chasing down the street while str- with my boom mic <laughs> trying to interview, he's like, his face is covered like with his balaclava. So I would say to him, listen, if you get on board with this thing, you're actually going to have a less restrictive mask because the mask that you just have to have for COVID is way less restrictive yeah. than your neo-Nazi balaclava. So that's how you sort out the neo-Nazis. Yes. What's your message to the hippie, the wellness hippie being hippie, like... Like, you're right to be sceptical about things, right? But you've got to... It's got to go narrow. You can't be sceptical about everything all the time or whatever because you, you'll just arrive nowhere. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. But just, like, I, what, 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 you can't... You saw the goddamn footage of... They got in New York or whatever, and there's all those bodies that are going into it. It's like, how the hell? Like, I know there's like rat stories here and there about the vaccine or whatever, but I, in the overall balance of things, I just don't think. I think it's good to be skeptical about pharmaceutical companies and about governments totally, about yeah. other things, but maybe this, like, just be a bit more um, open minded. <laughs> this is like why I can't do public service announcement because I've probably like turned more people off. There's really like people who like were actually about to drive down this afternoon to get their booster shot and then after that pitch yeah, like, they're like not gonna get it. Well if he's on the other team. <laughs> yes, he's on the other team. The other guys must be right. Yes. Hey John. Thank you. Thanks for coming to the yes. fireside no, chat. Thank you very much. And Good. and go get your booster. And yeah. do you wanna give your book a plug? Oh yeah that's right. So if you wanna win this book Good. True or false? Philip Morris, the cigarette company, have developed a vaccine or are developing a vaccine uh, for COVID that has, which is legitimate and has got funding from the Canadian government, from Trudeau's government. Is that true or false? Hey, so it's been so nice to sit mm. by the fire. Yes. To have a chat, yes. To dissect these people who are who are on Don't the say street. Dissect these people because that will be the next thing. It will be like the Labor Party is trying to dissect us 